Hi folks, welcome back to Ask a Mechanic. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a peek at the new mountain bike wheels from E13. Now in this new wheel drop from E13, we have three all new lines. We have Optimus, which is gonna be the trail wheel. We have Sylvan, which is gonna be the all mountain wheel. And we have Grappler, which is gonna be the enduro and the downhill wheel. All these wheels are gonna be paired up with brand new hubs. We have a race hub, which is gonna be found on Grappler. We also have a race SL hub, which is gonna be found on Sylvan and Optimus. Along with the new hub, we have all wheels, whether you get aluminum or carbon, are gonna be hand-built wheels. So these are gonna be built to E13's exact specs with their preferred spoke and nipple setup. They're also gonna be pre-taped from the factory and paired up with their quick fill tubeless valves. All three of the new wheels from E13 share some huge hub improvements, starting with the floating thread axle system. Now this is a system that's unique to E13. It's gonna offer multiple benefits and solve many common problems caused by binding found in most bicycle hubs. And the axle end caps conveniently thread on and off by hand without creating any preload on the bearing. This minimizes drag in the rear wheel and helps to even out the bearing load, which gives you longer lasting bearings. Next up, we have the Just Right Engagement System. Now, just like the floating thread axle system, all of the wheels we covered today are gonna feature E13's Just Right Engagement. This is gonna be found on both the Race and the Race SL hubs, also both of which are gonna use the proven 60 tooth ratchet and paw system. Now there's two options here. You have a three paw six degree option, which is gonna offer 60 points of engagement. This is gonna be ideal for your gravity and your e-bike. There's also a four pawl three degree with 120 points of engagement. This is gonna be ideal for your all mountain, your trail and your gravel offerings of the future. Now this higher engagement option is gonna provide long-term reliability with the added efficiency to optimize long days of climbing and descending. On shorter travel bikes these days, pedal kickback is less of a common problem. So this 120 point engagement option offers a greater focus on pedaling efficiency, where if you look at this 60 point of engagement option, that's gonna have a greater focus on counteracting pedal kickback on your long travel bikes and also durability when paired with an e-bike. We have two hubs. We have a race hub and a race SL hub. This is gonna have a fully redesigned inside and out hub. It's gonna be CNC machined with weight in mind. So this is gonna be the lightest hub that E13 could offer for you. It's gonna have lighter bearing specs. It's gonna have an updated flange with updated spoke angles, offering an improved spoke nipple alignment with the rims, which is gonna also reduce your stress on your spoke holes. This is gonna basically increase your wheel longevity. At the free hub side, there's also gonna be a new alloy seal shield to replace the previous rubber one on the free hubs. This is gonna protect the seals and improve potential contamination, especially for riders in wet conditions. This is gonna be a huge upgrade from the last hub. Also on the race SL hub, we're gonna have that four paw, three degree, 120 point of engagement. This is gonna come standard. Now these hubs though, they're cross compatible with alloy or steel axle kits. And you can also choose the three paw or the four paw on any of these wheels. Driver bodies are gonna come in XD, HG, and micro spline standards for service simplicity and rider preferred tuning. Now this Race SL hub service kit is gonna be backwards compatible with the previous generation hub service kit, which is huge. They're also all gonna be 28 spoke rear hubs featuring an alloy axle system and lightweight two bearing driver. They're also all gonna feature that floating thread axle system we just covered. They're all gonna feature that improved spoke angle and spoke design, the new seals and a five year warranty. Next up, we have the race hub. The race hub is gonna be found on your enduro and downhill focused grappler wheel. Now the grappler race hub is gonna be designed for low drag, incredible reliability and excellent sealing from the elements. It's gonna have that just right engagement we just talked about coming from the factory with that super robust three paw, six degree engagement with three contact points on at all time. Great for counteracting that pedal kickback. So keep that in mind. 
Compatibility and customization is also going to be available on the race hub. So you have your alloy or your steel axle kit. You have your factory three paw six degree setup, but you can also do the four paw three degree setup. Driver bodies, just like the race SL hub, you're going to have your XD, your HG or your micro spine. Also floating thread axle system, updated flange with updated spoke angles, the alloy seal shields, and that same five-year warranty. So taking a look at the Optimus wheel, this is gonna be your wheel that's perfectly suited for lightweight trail bikes, E13 sitting up to a 140 mil fork. Now this wheel is gonna be perfect for your all day epic rides. So those backcountry missions this is also gonna be a wheel that can kind of withstand a beating. Let's take a, a closer look at some of these details. Now looking at the rim of the Optimus wheel, Optimus is gonna have a symmetrical profile. This is gonna be optimized for weight savings without losing strength. And it's gonna also offer a uniform distribution of stress on the spokes. So this is gonna be a desirable setup for riders who prioritize efficiency and lightweight. Now, this wheel is gonna be slightly narrower with a 28 millimeter internal width, but it's still gonna remain laterally stiff while optimizing trail tire profiles. Your trail tire size, think about that Optimus tire right at 2.4. It's gonna be a great fit for this wheel. The profile of the rim, you're gonna have a 22.8 millimeter sectional depth and a 28 hole rim which is gonna come with double butted spokes, creating a light and nimble and dynamic ride characteristic of the Optimus wheel. Looking at the rim in isolation, rim weight is gonna be 380 grams. We have a hookless flange and we have a nice deep rim well, which is gonna make seating your tubeless tire a breeze. Also, all the Optimus rims are gonna carry a lifetime warranty. Now looking at the wheel as a whole, so complete wheels in carbon, you're gonna have a factory spec weight of 756 grams for the front and 876 grams for the rear. That's gonna be a Boost XD driver. So you're gonna have your Satman D-Lite 28 hole front and rear. Rear hub configuration, you're gonna have your Boost 148 by 12 with alloy axle. Front hub configuration, you're gonna have your 110 by 15 mil Boost as well. For the driver, we're gonna have the XD four paw three degree driver. Don't forget we got HG and micro spline available and we have six degree available as well. And also from the factory, we have it gonna be taped with E13 tape. Now the Optimus wheels are only gonna be available in 29 front and rear. So who's this wheel for? Optimus is gonna be for your trail rider. This is a great wheel set to throw on your trail bike up to 140 mils of travel. This wheel is not afraid to show up at your local cross country race, but will be plenty durable to handle anything you throw at it at that epic all day backcountry ride. Optimus is what we'd call, say a down country wheel. So moving on to the Sylvan wheel. Now this wheel is gonna be your all mountain wheel. This is gonna blend your lightweight dynamic ride with super durable characteristics. So this is gonna be for your aggressive trail rider. The new asymmetrical rim is constructed of a high modulus carbon fiber with a 23 millimeter profile height and a decade honed custom layup. This is gonna include a clever valve dock for improved tubeless sealing on asymmetrical rims. And looking at that rim by itself, it's gonna weigh just 450 grams in the 29 option. The impact strength of the new Sylvan rim when compared to the previous TRS race rim is gonna be increased 709%. Looking at the rim, we have four mil offset asymmetrical rim profile. Now this is gonna enhance your wheel build by equalizing the spoke angles and spoke tension throughout the wheel. There's also gonna be a 30 mil internal width, providing ample lateral tire stability and a low profile height, increasing compliance, absorption of impact, and reducing rider fatigue. There's also gonna be a hookless flange on this wheel, offering high tubeless security and resistant to impact damage. Looking at the wheel in detail, we have a factory provided weight of 750 grams for the front and 920 grams for the rear. That's gonna be your Boost XD driver rear. This is gonna be 28 hole front, 28 hole rear. Rear configuration is gonna be 148 by 12 Boost or 157 by 12 Super Boost shipped to you with an alloy axle. 
front configuration is going to be 110 by 15 boost. Again, it's going to come to you four paw three degree driver, HG micro spline available. It's going to come with XD though. There's also a six degree available. Size wise, we have 27.5 or 29 rear and the front is going to be available in only 29. So who's this wheel for? Sylvan is for your all-mountain rider. This is for the rider that pushes the pace going up the hill and keeps pushing the pace when you start going down. So this is a wheel that can handle those all-day rides that have those really gnarly descents in it. All right, now last in the bunch today, we have the grappler wheel. Now the grappler comes in an enduro or a downhill specific wheel set. Now these are gonna be different rim designs. So we have the enduro wheel, which is coming in at 28 hole. We have the downhill rim, which is gonna be a little bit beefier 32 hole rim. Now both of these wheels in their categories are gonna be designed for, you have EWS racing, you have World Cup downhill or bike park season. So these are gonna be a super strong wheel. Um, this is, you know, the wheel for the racer, the wheel for the hard charging enduro rider, um, really the wheel that is something that's gonna be super strong and durable that you don't have to worry about. It's still gonna be competitively light and it's gonna be able to withstand anything you throw at it. If you're looking for a race ready wheel or just a really strong durable wheel for your enduro bike, look at the Grappler. The Grappler is known for durability and performance under the most demanding conditions. E13's wheels have earned a reputation among the World Cup and amateur races alike. The Grappler Race Carbon and Race Alloy wheels are available in both downhill, enduro, and also e-spec enduro configurations. Each wheel is tailored for those specific riding demands. Constructed with the high modulus carbon fiber with refined layups, backed by a lifetime warranty, these rims have been enhanced to improved impact strength. Weights range from 515 grams for a 29 inch hoop for enduro and 575 grams for a 29 inch hoop for downhill and e-spec. The Grappler Race Carbon DH and e-spec rims absorb 322% more energy than the previous version LG1 Race DH rims in E13's impact testing. That's quite impressive. Grappler Race Carbon Rim Profiles and proprietary layups are the fruit of a decade of development on the World Cup with top athletes like Aaron Gwynn. Now looking at the rim in detail, these are gonna be available in 28 hole for enduro and 32 hole for DH. All grappler wheels are gonna feature a hookless flange, which offers a set and forget tube of security and huge resistance to impact damage. The low profile 20 millimeter height with 30 millimeter internal width provides ample lateral stiffness and precise handling with just enough vertical compliance to take the edge off hits while still providing tracking, traction, and comfort. Looking at the wheel set in detail, we have a factory weight provided from E13 of 912 grams for the front and 1,032 grams for the rear. That's in boost with the XT driver. And the rear hub configurations are gonna be 148 by 12 boost or 157 by 12 super boost with the alloy axle. Also for downhill, we are gonna have that 150 or that 157. The front hubs are gonna be available 110 by 15 mil boost for enduro. And for downhill spec, we're gonna have those 20 mil options for you. It's gonna come with an XD three pawl driver with six degrees. We also have those HG micro spline three degree available and sizes are gonna come in 27 and a half or 29. Now this is for your rider that has racing in mind or really just wants a wheel that they can ride whatever trail as hard as they want and they don't have to worry about this thing breaking. This is a strong ass wheel. All right, I'm Trevor with Art Slackery and thanks for watching today's episode of Ask the Mechanic where we covered the whole new wheel line from E13. We had the Optimus Trail Wheel, the Sylvan All Mountain Wheel, and the Grappler Enduro and Downhill Wheel. If you have any questions about specifics, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot us an email and I'll do my best to get back to you. Also stay tuned to our social media as we're gonna be having some fun content about each of these wheels on the trail and stay tuned to uh, E13 social media as I'm sure they're gonna be doing the same. Also pop over to the E13 website where they'll have specific prices and weights and also be able to help you out in ordering some of these wheels. Tune in next time, I'm Trevor with Art Cyclery. Subscribe to this channel for more fresh content and have a great night.